you are struggling to build real habits for multiple reasons. One could be that the underlying triggers remain in your life. In this video we will analyze why people struggle to build habits into more depth and provide tips to build new habits. Welcome back to another video on our channel. As we shortly introduced people can struggle to build habits for plenty of reasons. One underlying trigger is one we mentioned in the intro. What we mean by this is that underlying triggers could mean that you are getting influenced by your friends, or you don't set up yourself up for the right habit. Suppose you want to break the habit of being lazy in the morning and checking your phone. The first step you should take is considering what triggers it and how you can break that habit down into steps. A lazy morning often originates from a bad sleeping schedule or simply out of routine. The first things you can do for yourself are going to be done in the evening. You have to recognize that a change in your evening schedule is required to change your morning schedule. You start by sleeping half an hour earlier. Likewise, you can prepare your morning by putting your phone further away and using an alarm on a different device than your phone. This will force you to get out of bed and therefore force a change. So try to recognize that there are small changes that can help you force yourself out of a bad habit. Experience teaches us that routines matter more than conscious choices into making and breaking habits. Everyone has habits. Many of them are insignificant, like always putting on your left shoe before the right one. Other habits have consequences. Walking 10,000 steps every day is good for your heart. Eating a calorie-laden dessert and smoking a cigar after every dinner will likely clog your arteries, pollute your lungs, and shorten your life. It is certain that habits play a large role in our lives, and therefore it is important to set in place the right habits. If we are speaking very general, everyone should have at least one habit that supports mental health, at least one for physical health, and one for financial wealth. Habits for mental health are often overlooked and so is mental health for that matter. People associate good habits to be eating well, exercising, and making money, but it ain't that straightforward. People often enjoy activities and nights out with friends and family, but might feel bad after, because they think they could have done something more productive or better for themselves. This is especially true when people have had a drink or more the night before. But if there is anything we can say about that it is that your mental health habit is at least as important as any other of your other habits. So don't feel bad after a night out, just try to find a balance between fun and responsible. If the first part of the video has helped you already make sure to keep watching and subscribe to our channel for much more development doses. Some good habits that we suggest could be the following. Go boxing twice a week. Meditate regularly to clear your mind and practice gratitude. Read books or magazines before sleeping to have a better night's rest and maybe read in the morning to avoid the instant blue light devices. Having only your favorite snacks at home, so you don't crave to eat everything, but limit it by having just your favorites. Hang out with friends and family regularly and have someone with who you can speak truthfully, so you don't have things constantly stuck in your mind. So now that we established what are reasons for bad habits and know what kind of habits are good for us, how do we implement it into our own lives? New habits are not built quickly and often thought of to take 21 days to build a new one. As it is with breaking bad habits, to build a new habit, you should break a habit down into steps. An example could be that you want to start going to the gym and preferably early in the morning. Apart from your sleeping routine, you could set yourself up for greatness by putting together your outfit the night before and do the same with your breakfast. Making the steps easier before going to the gym will limit the changes of you bailing on your habit. Another tip we can provide you with is linking habitual actions with rewards or punishments. Building a good habit is a reward by itself but sometimes it can be helpful to link a fun reward to a good habit that takes quite some effort to perform. You could reward yourself with a snack or some free time if you perform the habit you want to perform. The last tip we have is downloading a habit tracking app. There are many out there, but we personally have been using Productive by Apalin apps. 
We find these apps to be helpful since it gives some kind of feeling of accomplishment. It shows your streak of a habit and resets if you fail to perform the habits on the personally set days. Some apps have a skip often to skip a habit if you have a solid reason. But you are your own judge. If you take anything for this video, take this, to build and break habits, you should break down these habits into steps and set yourself up for successful before the habit has to be performed. On that note, we thank you for watching and hope to see you at our next video.